Hi everybody, it's Webflow Joe with an effin' sweet Webflow hack. In this hack, we learn how to detect the user's mobile operating system and then run a different function based on their operating system. We're gonna be able to run different functions for iOS users, for Android users, or for people who are on their desktop and they have their screen smaller. We're going to get ultra personal here. Show iOS buttons for iOS users. Show Android buttons for Android users. You're going to be able to ultra cater the experience for that user and their mobile OS. Let's see how it works. We're in the live example and we see nothing on the page. Live example box is blank and as I continue to load the site, we're not going to see anything. This is exactly what we want. This hack is all about detecting mobile OS and running a function. We're focusing on iOS and Android. Before we jump to iOS, I will show you that we are also showing how to Detect that a user is on a desktop device, but their screen is at a mobile responsive level. So if I go and reload the page here at this size, we're gonna show a special message. You're on Chrome desktop and made your screen smaller. So now let's go and jump into iOS and see this actually working inside mobile OS. Here I'm on my iPhone and I'm going to see a message telling me that I'm on iOS. So if I go and reload the hacks page, I'm on hack 25 and I see the message, you're on iOS. If you're on Android, you're gonna see Android. If you're on something else different than that, you're on some weird browser, we're also going to show a message for that. We're inside designer and we have different text strings with different messages here on the page. We have a base class of hack 25 browser text for each of these texts. We're also going to put an add-on class to each of these so we can target them individually inside JavaScript. So here in iOS, we're using hack 25 iOS, hack 25 Android, hack 25 Chrome, and hack 25 don't know. For this example, we are showing this text inside designer so you can see what's going on. But if I was actually going to implement this live on a site, I would go ahead and make this base class hidden. We're actually gonna go ahead and do this inside the head of the page in custom code. But for right now, we're going to display this block so we can see what's going on. Uh, normally, if we were implementing this on a client site, this would be, let's say, a download button, download our iOS app, download our Android app, or maybe a message saying, hey, we have an iOS app, we have an Android app with a little bit more information to a landing page. So we're using text here, but this can be anything. This can be a full div filled with all information about iOS. It could be a link to a new landing page. It could be a download button. You can do whatever you want here, but we're using text for this example. Let's break down this code line by line. Before the closing body tag, we're going to insert our script. This script is going to have a very important if statement. And this if statement is checking if the user's window is below 991 or above 991. And if it is below or equal to 991 pixels, we're going to go ahead and run all of our code that checks for the browser. If it is not under 991 and it's above 991, we're not going to do anything. This hack is focused on mobile OS detection. If you're over 991 pixels, you are not on a mobile device. So we're going to ignore everything. So let's assume we are under 991, we're on a mobile device. Let's get into the code here. First, we're going to define a regular expression to detect the user's browser by checking the user agent string. So we are creating a function called test browser. It is going to check the user's browser by searching for text inside the browser that determines which browser it is. 
So let's get into our tests and we'll see how this is working. We are going to use our test browser function. And if our test browser function has Android, we are going to run this code. If it doesn't have Android, then we're going to go to the next one. Else if we're going to test the browser for iPhone, iPad, and iPod. If it doesn't have that either, we're going to move to the next one. And else if we're going to test our browser for Chrome. This is for somebody that is on a desktop, they've made their screen smaller, and they're not on a mobile device, but we are going to sort of treat them like a mobile user. We can show them a different message than our iOS and Android users. And if none of the above are found, we're not Android, we're not iPhone, we're not on Chrome, we can also search for Safari or Firefox or anything else, then we are going to run this statement. So we have all of these different checks. If it doesn't satisfy one of these checks, we move to the next one until we get to the end. And here inside Chrome, if you go to our previous hack, Hack24, you're going to see how we check for Firefox and Safari. And you can combine these to check for a lot of different things and show different messages and different page elements to different users based on their desktop browser or mobile OS. Let's, let's see what we can do here and how we can check and then do something important for that user. So let's go back to our test Android. And here we are running this code which just simply turns our Android text on. It's just a check for this hack. But this could be really useful to show a download from the Play Store button or something very specific to Android that an iOS user wouldn't care about. For example, downloading from the Play Store. Me as an iOS user, I don't care about that. I'm, it, I'm just gonna go over it. It's extra page elements I don't need to see. And same thing for iOS. If I'm an Android user, I don't wanna see a download from the App Store. But if I am an iOS user, I'm going to wanna see that download from the App Store button. So here, instead of showing text, we can show a button to the App Store. And for Chrome users, hey, maybe we wanna show them a Chrome extension. Maybe we want to give them a message uh, and say, go to your mobile device. We have apps for these two Android and iOS devices. And if we don't want to add one of these checks, we can remove them. We don't have to use it exactly like this. So let's say I just wanna check for Android or iOS, I don't care if they're on Chrome, and um, if they're not on Android or iOS, we know that they're not on a mobile device, so we can show them, hey, we know you're not on a mobile device, please go to your mobile to download our app, and we can put that type of message here. And yeah, that's, uh, that's everything. That's, that's how you can detect the mobile OS do something special for that mobile OS and hide it for the people that are not specific to that mobile OS. Thank you so much for checking out this hack. Please clone the project. We have the entire hacks project available for clone. Start learning how these hacks work and use them on your live site. We're always releasing new hacks. So if you want to be updated, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want a super simple plain text email when we release a new hack, sign up at finsuite.com slash hacks dash updates. If you want to request a hack, we'll check it out and see if it's possible in Webflow. Go to finsuite.com slash hacks dash request. That's effing sweet.